Dr. Higgins is the president of Brigham and Women's Hospital and executive president, a uh, vice president at Mass General Brigham. He previously served as surgeon in chief at Johns Hopkins Hospitals, the William Stewart Holstead Professor of Surgery and director of the Department of Surgery at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. He's a leading authority in heart and lung transplantation, minimally invasive cardiac surgery, and mechanical circulatory support. Dr. Higgins has served in numerous national professional leadership roles, including president of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons, president of the United Network for Organ Sharing, president of the Society of Black Academic Surgeons, and as a member of the board of directors of the American Board of Thoracic Surgery. Dr. Higgins received uh, his medical degree from Yale and completed a residency in general surgery and served as chief resident at the University Hospitals of Pittsburgh. He earned a master's degree in health services administration at Virginia Commonwealth University. Uh, my colleagues and I at the International Center for Genetic Disease are grateful to Dr. Higgins for his strong support of ICGD and its mission to extend the benefits of genomic medicine worldwide. Without further ado, I welcome Dr. Higgins to deliver his remarks. Dr. Higgins. Thank you. Uh, it's a great pleasure uh, to welcome you uh, to this third lecture in the annual uh, keynote series on genomic medicine sponsored by the Brigham and Women's International Center for Genetic Disease. The center is based at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, uh, but I'm pleased to note that it reaches uh, far beyond that to our Harvard affiliated uh, teaching hospitals, including the Mass General, Boston Children's, uh, Beth Israel, uh, Deaconist, and the Dana-Farber, as well as to the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard and the School of Dental Medicine. Today, it's a pleasure for us to host scientists, clinicians, and many others from countries around the world. Before Ali Reza, the founding director, introduces today's distinguished speaker, Dr. Hoda Zogby from Baylor College of Medicine and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. I just want to note briefly why genomic medicine, as I'm learning and being educated, is such an important emerging field in contemporary medicine of today. As defined by the NIH, uh, genomic medicine is the emerging medical discipline that involves using genetic information about an individual as part of their clinical care. As a clinician, this is very important to me and I'm sure many others. And it also speaks to the health outcomes and policy implications of that clinical use. Its clinical implications are rapidly expanding and these include diagnostic testing, pharmacogenetic testing, risk prediction using polygenic risk scores, population screening, the list goes on and on to identify novel therapeutics and interventions such as gene editing in this process. Over the past decade, genomic medicine has gone from a mere concept to an actual clinical implementation. I am proud to say that President Obama's mandate at the 2015 State of the Union called for a federally funded large-scale precision medicine initiative, now called All of Us, and specifically emphasized this national commitment to genomic medicine as a new paradigm. All of you know that genomic medicine provides a route to translate innovative science, ranging from novel diagnostics and effective therapeutics to enhance patient care and the prevention of disease. Uh, we, as an internationally recognized academic medical institution, seek not only to provide the best care for our patients through cutting edge genetic science and research, but also to promote genomic medicine worldwide. This center focuses on the analysis of patients and healthy subjects from different parts of the world to elucidate the genetic causes, consequences, and create prevention strategies and treatments of disease. Currently, it will uh, interest you to know that close to 80% of the genomic data is limited to individuals of European ancestry. The practice of genomic medicine is also only just beginning to be implemented in many parts of the world. 
So we hope that the research, clinical work, and capacity building projects of the International Center for Genetic Disease will have a significant impact in eliminating these disparities. So I'll finally state that uh, we are committed to address representation and diversity in genomics. We need genomic and clinical data from thousands of individuals from diverse populations in order to understand the genes and changes in the DNA sequence that lead to human disease phenotypes. I'm proud to say that the center provides an infrastructure to compile and analyze genetic knowledge across geographic borders and uses cutting edge capacities and capabilities to improve health in both international and local settings. Uh, I'm looking forward to today's lecture, Therapeutic Approaches to Tackle Neurodevelopmental Disorders, Lessons and Prospects by Dr. Zogby, which will provide, I'm sure, a state-of-the-art example of the enormous progress being made by researchers in using genetic information to understand debilitating human disease. Thank you again for the opportunity to spend time with you, and I look forward to the uh, uh, lecture today, and I turn it back over to Dr. Hogby. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Higgins. Uh, we are thankful for uh, your, your um, generous support to the, to the center.